Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. This video request comes to us from Derek out of Stowe, Ohio, and he wants to know if he can use his sonic wall to prevent users from sending or emailing documents that are marked as confidential. Okay, this can be done by using the Sonic Wall application firewall. And to do so, there's three things that we need to do. We need to create a, a match object so that we can tell the Sonic Wall what to look for, an action object so that the Sonic Wall knows what to do when it sees that, and then finally uh, build the application rule that ties all those pieces together. So to begin, let's first create our match object. And we're going to select Add New Match Object. And object name, we're just going to call it uh, Protected Document. And the match type, we're going to be looking at the contents of the documents that are being emailed out. So we're going to select File Content. Match type, we'll keep it at partial. That way it can look for uh, the word confidential either in uppercase or lowercase. In content, we'll put in the keyword that we're looking for, which is confidential. And add that. Let's say OK. OK, next, now we want to create an action. What do we want the Sonic Wall to do when it finds this protected document, that keyword, inside of the file content? So we'll go to Action Objects, and let's add a new object. And for the action name, we'll just call it uh, Remove Attachment with Warning. And for the action, we want to select Block SMTP Email, Send Error Reply. So what this is going to do now is when this rule uh, kicks in, it's going to automatically block that email message from uh, being sent out, and it's going to give an error message and reply back to the user so that they know that the email wasn't sent. Now one of the nice features here is that in the content box we can put in the actual message, the error message that we want to present to the user. And this is helpful uh, so that, you know, the uh, user doesn't pick up the phone and call IT support because they can't send out an email. So if we put in a little message here, it says, you know, this document cannot be emailed because it's marked as confidential, then it's pretty obvious to the end user and they know that they can't send that document. So let's go ahead and select OK. And then for the final step, we need to build the application rule to bring those pieces together. So we'll select Add New Policy. Policy name, we'll say Protect Confidential Documents. And the policy type is going to be SMTP Client because we're going to be looking for emails that are being sent out to the email server. The match object, it's going to have our protected document. And the action we want it to do is obviously stop the email and provide them the warning, the action object we created just a few minutes ago. And we're going to keep all these other settings uh, the same because we want it to apply to everybody uh, in the organization. And then for the direction, we want to select outgoing. It's for emails that are going outbound. And we select OK. So now the policy is in place. We have it uh, enabled. So let's do a quick little demonstration. I'm going to pull up an uh, email client here. And I'm going to send an email to demo at firewalls.com. And I'm going to attach a file. Uh, in this case, it's just a, uh, a text file. This also applies to you know Excel and Word documents and what have not. But in this document, a little simple little text document, it has the word confidential embedded in it. And I'll select send. And we'll do a quick sync. And automatically we can see now that we're getting the error message. 
This document cannot be emailed because it is marked as confidential. So that's how you can use the SonicWall firewall to protect uh, confidential documents uh, that are inside your organization. You can also take it to the next step and you can use watermarks. Uh, for example, you can embed uh, graphic images into documents and the sonic wall can actually look for the pattern of that um, image, that watermark in the document, and if it finds it, you can trigger the same kind of rule. Okay, I hope you uh, found this useful. If you got any questions or comments, you can enter them in the section below. Uh, or if there's a video that you'd like to see, uh, please uh, click on the pink box over on the left-hand side. All right, have a great day.